Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and today I'm continuing my attempt to beat Pokemon Ultra Moon without catching any Pokemon. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, MNJTV Plays. A lot of you are only subscribed to my main channel, MNJTV. And that's it. Let's continue. All right, so I've made it to Ula Ula Island. And the first thing I need to do is leave Ula Ula Island <laughs> because somebody, not gonna name any names, forgot about the gift Eevee in the daycare. And by forgot, I mean talked to every person in the daycare except the one who gives you the gift Eevee. It's this lady. I didn't know. I talked to everyone except her, so I didn't get an Eevee. <laughs> But I'm gonna get it now. Oh, I'm gonna hatch it just cause I can. Yes, thank you. Would have missed this if not for comments, so thanks guys. <laughs> While I'm hatching this Eevee, I'm not really, you gotta be kidding me. W where was I? As I am hatching this Eevee, you what, what, what? As I'm hatching this egg. Okay, I think we're finally fine. I should say I'm not really sure what I want to turn this Eevee into. I'm not sure. I, I'm probably just gonna hatch it and box it for a little while and, until I get more Pokemon and can decide better. And there we go, it's hatching time. It's a regular Eevee. Hooray. I'm going to call this Eevee Enigma because what it will turn into is still a mystery. And we're back on Pokey Pelago. Hopefully I can actually get something to show up during this session, my God. I have been bean picking for 20 minutes, finally. Is that 10 minutes or is that 10? That's gotta be 10 minutes. Okay, so I have a timer set. Check back in Pokey Pelago, because I don't know whether that's 20 minutes or 20 hours. <laughs> I had a great idea, Michael, let's have a battle. Oh, forgot this was happening, okay. And he's got five Pokemon. Golly gee, Batman, that's quite a few. Most of mine are under leveled as heck. Oh God, 30. I only have two that are above 30. Is Smackdown gonna work? How much is this gonna do? And now I, okay. Stop biting me. Are you freaking, no, no more flinching. Are you kidding me? This is a disaster. There we go, my God, that cat was incredibly rude. Forgot how big this thing is. <laughs> oh boy, that's the whole screen. Why is that all that did? This is gonna take several hits. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh God, this is a mess. <laughs> Let's try some ice type echoed voice. It was super effective. This might be risky, but maybe it'll work. Oh, that's right. Ice doesn't resist anything. Okay, well, I'm in the middle of something. I can't check Pokey Pelago now. Am I finally gonna KO this Leafeon? Oh yes. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's start sucker punching. Quick attack beats sucker punch? You've gotta be kidding me. I thought sucker punch always, this is the worst video game I've ever played. I'm just kidding. And now you're dead. That does way less than I am acceptable of. My God, my God. Okay, all right. We're gonna try and go cray cray. Cause it resists normal moves. That was resisted? You know what, let's go into bobbles and just start leech lifing again. <laughs> oh, dude, what is going on? Okay, I just have to hyper potion Fabio. I have to hyper potion Fabio. Bobbles is gonna go down so I can Z move. Oh, hey, I didn't die. Well, I'm gonna stay in and it pursuits me. Okay. Glad I saved my Z move. Fabio is carrying. Yes! All right, whew. We escaped, we won. KO two of my Pokemon and the rest took a beating. Oh, they're healed. 
Well, that was considerate of him. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I was just battling a wild Ariados to try and get some experience. Why are you evolving? Is it not 36? I can never, why do they keep changing it? I thought, I guess it's 34. Well, all right then. Fabio is properly fabulous. Sparkling Aria, all right. And now I get Fairy Stab, which is also awesome. I'm also gonna teach Fabio Psychic. I got this from Aether Paradise. Oh, that's right, I need to check Pokepelio. Then there's nothing here. Pokebean effect lasts for 1937. Oh, so that is ours. Well, I can check back tomorrow. <laughs> All right, now to extensively search this city for totem stickers. Aha! Uh -huh. sixty. Oh, there's another one. Okay, okay. Forty-six. All right, got another one here in the library. Aha! Uh -huh. I was right. There's one right there. All right, I got some fun weather rocks and also another totem sticker. Shout out to me. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm glad I backtracked. But I missed this one. Fifty. <gasps> oh, do I get one at 50? I thought I had to wait till 60. Please be the Alolan Marowak. Oh, it's Salazzle. Wait, that still works. Oh, let's go. I've got something good against the token of Aru. Oh, thank goodness. I'm gonna call her Hazmat. You've heard of Hazmat suits, but I just Googled it. And it turns out hazmat is defined as a material such as a flammable or poisonous material that would be a danger to life or to the environment if released without precautions. This is a salazzle. It's both flammable and poisonous. Welcome to the squad, hazmat. And I'm sorry, Borealis. Level 30, all right, that's good. Oh, and its nature is terrible. Well, I'm stuck with it. <laughs> Well, I'd like her to be learn a better move besides Flame Burst, but I guess we'll get there. In the meantime, definitely giving you the Fiery MZ. Oh, God. Oop, 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 oop. There we go. Indominus is getting Acrobatics. That's so good. I love Acrobatics. It's so good in a play that you just don't put on an item and you've got a 110 base power move. All right, here we are atop Mount Hakalani. Mount Hakalugi. The site of what will probably be the most challenging trial to date. Because while I do finally have a fire type for the Togedomaru, if for some reason that fails, I'm screwed. <laughs> because the other th of my five team members, one is like a neutral matchup, three are weak to electric, and the other one's weak to steel. Okay, so I don't have my lights on. I don't have my setup going, but I just remembered I left beans in here for a while, decided to check it, and now I have to record because there's actually Pokemon here. <laughs> there's a Hoot Hoot, excellent, and then I want to check on this Picky Peg. Okay, hopefully they'll stay. I don't know if I'll use them because I'm already using Archeops, but like, I finally got some. We'll see if they stick around. All right, it's the next day. Heading to, heading to Poke Pelago. Am I gonna get to keep my, oh, there's another new Pokemon. Oh my God, I got here just in time. It's a Comfey. Oh, I don't really care about that. I'm just gonna use Primarina. But where are, Did neither of the birds stay? Neither the Hoot Hoot nor the Picky Peg stayed? My God, this method is not effective. All right, so it's been, Several days since I last recorded and something I have decided that I want to do before progressing is look up where all the totem stickers are because I want the totem Pokemon as soon as possible. So I need all the stickers. Aha, uh -huh. there's one I missed. Got that one. Aha, uh -huh. there's one right away. Oh, here's one I missed on Hano Beach. It says under Sandy Gast? If it's under Sandy Gast, how, how do I get it to move? What the heck? I can see the sparkles. How do you move? Would you move? What is this? I see it there, but I can't interact with it because the sandy gas is in the way. Jesus. God, that was so annoying. <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea? 
Okay, so I've gotten every sticker on Akala Island, except the one at the lighthouse in Koni Koni, which requires you to have Machamp shove to access. So I've cleared that out for now. Okay, and I get this one here. We're up to 59, and I believe that means I've collected all of the possible ones so far. There are some inside the building, and I will get those shortly, because we're gonna go for it now. All right, here's one inside. We're up to 60, and that was not a new Pokemon. I'm unearthing charge bugs, so that's how I'm spending my time today. Why am I doing this? This is a very pointless task. Let's do this. And now I kid, I do have to fight things. Ah, maybe I shouldn't have led with Hazmat. You have gotta be kidding me. You have gotta be kidding me. I have to fight this Electabuzz for the trial and I barely didn't KO it and now I'm paralyzed from a freaking thunder wave. My gosh, that won't do much cause I'm faster. That did more than I thought it would, my God. Okay, this is, battling these Pokemon first is rough. <laughs> oh man, no ground types for Mikey. All right, we're overloading the circuit. The Togedemaru is saving the Charger Bug. The drama. And there it is, the big boy. Oh God. Oh, it's so angry. Defense, okay. I'm mainly attacking with special attacks with Hazmat. All right, so I could try to go with Fireium Z right off the bat, but I'm not confident it would Oko. So I'm actually gonna poison it because Corrosion lets me do that to a Steel type. And this way, even if Hazmat goes down, I just have to survive long enough for Toxic to kill it. Oh, thank God I didn't go for the Fire Z move. Holy crap. <laughs> Forgot about that. Hi, Skarmory. Okay. Toxic. Again, this time. And we get the Toxic off. All right. Oh, and the Tailwind. Oh, I'm remembering why this one was so hard the first time I played through this. I think now's the time to try and get the Fire EMZ off. Oh, but it could Spiky Shield. No, it's not gonna Spiky Shield again. Yeah, okay. Just might flinch me though. We're getting it off, okay. I don't know if this will KO. It killed it! All right, now let's just hyper potion and start flame bursting this till it's dead. <laughs> Salazzle's actually a really good Pokemon for this. The fact that I can poison the steel types, pretty big help. Shout out to Hazmat the Salazzle. This would have been way harder without this Pokemon. <laughs> My goodness, this is why you get the totem stickers. It's why you get the totem stickers, because it gives you Pokemon you kind of freaking need. <laughs> you did it. Hooray. Time for the first battle with Guzma, your boy Guzma. Uh, why are you so under leveled? Oh, what? What? No, come on. That should be illegal. What is this masquerade? What? Are you kidding me? Oh no. I might have to sack Hazmat. Yeah, I need to save switching. What the heck, dude? I don't remember this being this hard. I'm using the Z move on this thing. This this masquerade is an enormous threat. Why is this? I don't know if I've ever said that sentence out loud. Okay, Primarina takes that very well compared to the others. Good God. All right, my God, the demon is dead. The demon is dead. I can't believe a Masquerade took out two of my Pokemon. Yo, shout out to Fabio for saving me from utter destruction. Oh, I got Primarium Z. What is that? Is that different? What does that do? I forgot. Okay, I looked it up and I definitely will be putting Primarium Z on there because it is stronger than every version of Hydro Vortex except Hydro Vortex that comes from Water Spout or Hydro Cannon. So yes, definitely better than Hydro Vortex on Primarina. I just lost that battle. Both Lyleep and Archaeops were taken out. 
despite having type advantages over the opposing Pokemon, and I'm so upset, and I'm not progressing until I grind them up a lot, because I've been letting them lag behind, and clearly that's just not sustainable anymore. <gasps> I did it! I did the grinding! Success! Let's go! Oh, this is a much needed power upgrade. Much needed. Obviously it still has Defeatus, but it's way faster. It is now the fastest Pokemon on my team by an enormous margin. 105, 24, 92, 65, 72, 43. Okay, not an enormous margin. It's a bit faster than Celeste. All right, so I got Lyleep up to level 36, which is not as high as I would like, because I'd like it to be evolved, but it just evolves at 40, and that'd be like the same level as my strongest Pokemon, and that would just be a little ridiculous, so we're, we're working on it. Okay, I've learned from my recent lookings up that, yep, if you see a little rock, there's a totem sticker behind it. Now we got another one inside. Excellent progress being made. All right, I've made it to the Ula Ula surfing spot because your boy's got to surf for reasons that I will reveal later. Oh God, oh God. I haven't done a single jump. Oh God, this, oh God. Okay, well that took 10 years. I had a really rough start. So I don't know what I needed to, to get enough to get the top of the board though. Okay, wow, I had a terrible start and I still got it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm actually keeping a Pokepelago Pokemon. I thought I thought I had to check back the next day. And I, when I didn't, I was like, oh, I don't know, but this doesn't matter. I didn't get the Comfey. I guess I did. I'm not gonna use it, but like I got one. Okay, so my next trial is the Mimikyu trial which can be a bit tricky because it's a Mimikyu and Mimikyu is very good. And also it only has two weaknesses. Those being Ghost, which I don't have, and Steel, which I kind of have. I have Shield on, but I don't want to train it all the way up into a Bastiodon. That's just, that's not work I feel like doing. But I have a different idea, and that is flying to the surf spot here on Akala Island and going to the move tutor that's here and spending a bit of cash money flow, and by that I mean beach points, Battle points, they're the same thing in this game. And teaching Iron Tail to Indominus. And I'm teaching it Iron Tail specifically because I have the Steelium Z. So that way I can get a really powerful steel move onto the Mimikyu because Iron Tail's strong, but it's going to miss. For sound 100% accurate, 50% accurate. But by doing the Steelium Z, that can be a lot of damage. There we go. I'm gonna have to hit it first. I'm gonna have to hit it once to break the disguise, but I'm more than capable of doing that. Oh, Shadow Ball's here. Can anybody learn that? Oh, Primarina can. Ooh, I'm gonna teach it Shadow Ball just for this battle. Or maybe I'll keep it around, I don't know. I mean, for now, Psychic, Psychic I have the TM for, I can teach it Psychic back easily. All right, in we go. The ghost trial at the haunted abandoned supermarket begins. All right, I am putting Indominus in the front. Chipmunk handled the various ghosts I had to fight. Who are you, Acerola? Oh, never mind that. Looks like you're done with the trial, right? We should hurry up and leave this place. I'm not done yet. Oh. Oh, I forgot about this. <gasps> Pokemon is capable of doing some creepy stuff. See me? And here it is. Totem Mimikyu. What stat gets boosted with this thing? It's stats. 
Is that an Omni Boost? I certainly hope not. Oh no. All right. Well, first things first. We gotta break the disguise. I don't know if it stops secondary effects, but just in case it does, I'm gonna go with Crunch to try and get it. Maybe get a defense drop. Ah. Oh man, now we're in defeatist. Why did that have to do so much damage? I don't like that band that. I'm gonna heal and maybe hope that the next uh, next play rough misses. Kind of disappointed it did more than half. Didn't miss. Oh, and now, oh wow. All right, well this is a complete disaster. This is not going according to plan at all. Okay, I should have broken the disguise with another Pokemon. Okay, we gotta switch. Switching is something that I don't mind letting go down. We're gonna go into Hazmat. Should resist the play rough. Oh yeah, wow, that did nothing. Ooh, I'm actually gonna Toxic. I know I was gonna bring this in just to sack it off while I healed Archeops, but if I can get the Toxic off, that's gonna be really nice. Ooh, that did a lot, but we land it! Let's go. Why? Okay, well, clearly that plan didn't work. Uh, I have to full restore. My one full restore, I'm using it now. Hazmat goes down this turn, we bring in Archeops, so we go back to the original plan of the corkscrew crash. Or is it faster? Is this a waste of time? You know what? I'm just going for it. Maybe it'll do enough. It's faster. I'm garbage at Pokemon. Okay, it did about half. I don't really think there's a point in me keeping Indominus alive. Yep. Not an easy trial, but I think Primarina might be able to finish this with a Shadow Ball or two. Come on, Fabio, be fabulous, Fabio. Is this gonna kill? Oh, so close. Did the bandit just off itself? Yes, it did, okay. Oh, heck, now I don't know if I survive. A Jellicent. Jesus. We're going to Bobbles. Cause I gotta heal Primarina. Like I can't, I can't take another play rough and the curse. Oh man, this might be the hardest trial so far. Good Lord. Just slicing through everything. Shadow ball on the Mimikyu. The play rough lands, does less than half. The shadow ball lands and the Mimikyu's down. Okay. And it was a crit. Well, that would've been nice earlier. Thank God I got that TM. <laughs> This would have been a much stickier situation if I had not. Well, maybe. Maybe Sparkling Aria would have done. Because the Shadow Ball from the, from Mimikyu at half health, the Shadow Ball was a two hit KO. Sparkling Aria probably would have been a two hit KO too. So that was tough. I think that was the hardest trial I've done so far. And now I'm fighting Plumeria and I had Lyleep in front. Oops. Screw it, just for fun. Oh, I didn't kill it. Oh, my rock to missed. Oh my God. Rock, oh. Why is the rock type just so dumb? Oh, I forgot to remove the Steelium Z. Jesus. What? What the heck, man? This is better KO. Okay, God dang. Beat the crap out of me. Cray Cray go to level 40! Finally! Oh my god! It's been 10,000 years! It's a Cray Cray Dilly! <laughs> oh, finally! Oh god, you evolve unacceptably late! Okay, so upon evolving, my Cray Dilly has way higher attack than special attack. They were close and it's not close anymore. Uh, so, I am gonna go fly to whichever tutor teaches Seed Bomb. All right, Cray Cray learned Seed Bomb, hooray. All right, we got another totem sticker. Nice. The 70th totem sticker. Let's go, a new Pokemon. But first, what is this TM? Togemaru! Oh, let's go! 
Oh, this is so useful! I've sorely been lacking steel and electric. Man, I just beat this guy, now I gave him on my team. <laughs> I'm naming it Mace, for the weapon. The weapon, you know, it's like a spiky ball on the end of a stick. That's what this Pokemon is. And I'm sorry, Bobbles, I've barely used you because you're a repeat water type. I very much need this balance. So welcome to the squad. What do you know? You are behind, of course you are. Neutral nature, I can accept this. You know no steel moves. What steel moves do you learn? Well, thank God I'm playing this in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So the only way Togedemaru can learn a decent physical steel move is via the surfing move tutors. Iron Head and Iron Tail. I just got Rock Slide, that's so good. My two rock types will very much appreciate this. All right, one totem sticker. 76, booyah. Oh, there's another one in here. And another one, 78. Climbing up the ranks. And there's another one there, but I gotta get over there somehow. And I think I have to go through the house to get it. All right, and wait, is there more than one? 79? 80? 81? <gasps> a new Pokemon? Oh my God, I'm gonna go right now. What you got for me? 81, Mimic you! This is amazing. Now this is amazing, not because I intend to use it. Because I've already got Fabio as my fairy type, doesn't make sense to have that repeat. However, I think this is gonna be really freaking helpful against Ultra Necrozma because its disguise will protect it on one turn. Because of that, I'm going to name it Light Slayer. And you have the worst possible nature! Why does this keep happening in this playthrough? I have so many Pokemon that have their best attacking stat lowered! Why? Maybe it won't be that good of a Light Slayer. We'll find out. Oh? Oh, there are things here. Star you, that's not, mm, not replacing Primarina, but I mean, I guess it's a new Pokemon. All right, time for round two against Guzma. Hopefully the Masquerain isn't as much of a problem this time because I've got multiple rock types that shouldn't die immediately. And I also have an electric type who I am leading with in an attempt to zing zap this big old beast. Oh, I outspeed. Oh God, it took that so well. Oh, but it missed. And now I forced it out with Zing Zap. Haha, <laughs> bye bye Golisopod. I'm gonna go into Cray Cray. I'm worried about Indominus taking too much damage on a switch in. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Crap. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Well, it's fine. I can let Cray Cray go down to get a safe switch in. Oh, it's switched. Oh, that's still super effective. Yikes. It's fine. I knew I was gonna sack it off, but I thought I might get at least one hit in. Why doesn't rock resist bug? Can we talk about this? All right. Handled that. Acrobatics again. It's kind of fun to use acrobatics. It's so strong if you just don't hold an item. Here's the Masquerain. My nemesis. <laughs> All right, the Intimidate makes me think I have to rock slide. Don't you dare miss. Oh, it missed, of course it did! And it does so, of course it, freaking, what is this Masquerain? What is it? Maybe I still outspeed? This Masquerain, why is it so buff? Jesus! Oh, and I'm holding steel. I thought I was holding electric. God. Okay, we should resist this. That was resist, Jesus. Oh, of course it, it's fine. We should live this. And I beat him. My God, that mask will rain. What? <laughs> what? Why? Well, now it's time for the battle with a uh, Gladian. You know what, let's go for uh, Oceanic Operette. I haven't used this yet. 
We're making a big old ball of water and pushing it slowly toward the enemy. <laughs> and the type null just lets it happen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> it was the Zora work! <laughs> I'm like, wow, that went down fast. I really killed that thing. Okay, now we'll just kill the Techno. Oh, I just said yes to going to the thing. Okay, I will. Are my Pokemon healed after the battle with Gladian? They are. One down. Still got it. And I'm gonna go ahead and heal just because I don't know if I can live a hit from this range. Maybe I can, but I, I don't even think I needed to heal. I definitely didn't even need to heal. Okay. <laughs> wow. See, this is why Primarina is the best starter for the Alola games. It's super effective against all of the totem battles. All right, here we are. Ether Paradise. All right, time to fight Faba. Hello. You giant douche canoe. Oh, that's right, it's just his Hypno. All right, Hypno, payback is a... Wow, okay, never mind. That did less than I thought, okay. All right, I got my giant fat rat to handle it. Everything is fine. And now we wake up my enormous sleeping hedgehog by rubbing it with medicine. Morning. Yo, this muck is not being nice. <laughs> it has poisoned one of my Pokemon, almost KO'd another one. My Pokemon just doesn't do well against a Lolan Muck, and I didn't KO it. Well, that's the first time Fabio's fainted in a really long time. That was a crit, of course it was. And now I have to fight two more in a row. I don't think I get to heal between, oh boy, this is actually kind of, I know you have sturdy, so burn it. Burn it? No. Okay, that's fine. All right, I beat the last one. The Porygon too was no problem. Okay, so it was just, it was basically just the muck. Oh, well, I think we're gonna win this battle. <laughs> they led with two water types and uh, me and Hal led with two electric types and he psychic What are you doing, Hal? Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. Yeah, Electrobolt, why didn't you do that the first time? I wouldn't have taken any damage if you had done that the first time. How? All right, time for the multi-battle with Faba. Oh, wait, it's not Faba? I'm fighting these guys. Oh, he's hurting his own friend. He's hurting his own friend. And he burned me, of course he did. Oh, wow, that was a really good hit. All right, well, the Electabuzz goes down. Sucker punch the Magmar. Kill it. Kill it dead. It failed again. It used Confuse. Oh boy. This butthead is really button heads with me. Just die. Okay. All right. Gladion took care of it. Oh my God. Just why? Oh, oh, all right. Actually. Okay. Yeah, that's not the best. That's actually kind of rough. See how much this does. Okay, a good chunk. If we can live this turn, I can KO the Manicture. Oh. Maybe I'll flinch it? Oh, nice. And the Zoroark finishes it, hooray. And now we're going into the multi-battle against Faba. Really hoping they healed my squad. Cause if not, I'm gonna be kind of upset. We're good. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, that was actually, that was fine. Wow, Ladian is garbage. Would be really nice if Hal would have used an electric move on the Ladian instead of just psychicking a clay doll and dying. Wow, Hal, you are garbage. Now burn the Ladian to the ground. Burn it to the ground. Why are you not? Maybe it targeted the clay doll, I don't know, but, oh, oh. Okay, never mind. I, I, I take it back. That, that's fine. All right, well, I'm gonna keep crunching the Hypno. What are you gonna do? Oh, no! Never mind! Crap! You attacked the Pupitar! Why am I teamed up with somebody? 
who only makes incredibly stupid decisions. All right, now your darkest lariat hits on the freaking psychic type. There we go. My God, that did a lot. But it didn't matter, it's dead. All right, it's time for what I think is the final battle against Guzma. What are we gonna do for this battle, kids? Not lose to the Masquerain. Because it's very embarrassing to have Pokemon KO'd by a freaking Masquerain. I have led with Archeops this time and I'm just gonna acrobatics my way to victory. Didn't think I'd KO it, but I force it out. Now you died to my acrobatics. You're dead. Good night. A Vikavolt. You know what? I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna stay in and I'm gonna rock slide. We land it? Oh my god, I didn't kill it. How do I keep losing Pokemon? Freaking <sighs> Wow. Pardilly. Man, they really made Vikavolt too slow. What the heck was that? All right, it gets the Intimidate off. I don't care, because I'm gonna rock Z-move. Oh yeah, I switched it. It's fine. Rock Slide's gonna KO. We're gonna live this hit. We're gonna live this hit. And Rock Slide's gonna KO. It's four times super effective. Yes! 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 Sit down, Masquerade, you stupid, stupid bug! And I am gonna switch po And I win. Okay, now it's time to fight Lusamine. Aha, I killed it immediately, thank goodness. Oh God, I've had many annoying experiences with that Clefable in the past and I'm glad it's gone. Oh, what, I paralyzed it and I'm in love? Mace, no! Do not fall for this seductress's tricks! Yeah! No! Okay, well, we flinched it at least. Come on, Mace, come on, Mace! No! No! Mace, no! Wow, that did a lot. And we're definite. wow, okay, what? Wow, we really, we killed that thing. Weird that that was so easy. Well, aside from Mace falling to the Seductress Bunny, I'd say this turned out quite well. All right, here we go. Arriving at the final island of the game. Oh, and that's right, I get an Aerodactyl. I'm not gonna use it, I'm just still have Archeops, but you know, I'm just naming it Fang. I'm not gonna use it. It's a basic name. 87, 88, 89, 90. And no call, which means I think I have one more Pokemon left that I get once I get to 100. But before I continue with that, there's something I have to do. I have to get the top score. It's absolutely necessary. No! Stupid Sharpedos. My gosh, there's so many obstacles on this one. The Sharpedos, Je Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Okay. I wanna say I did okay. Yes, that's enough. I needed 58 and I got 63. I've dominated every single surfing course. Swing by the local branch of the Surf Association. It's in Hee <laughs> City. Okay. I've heard about you, kid. You're the one who took the top rank spot in all four of Alola's surf spots. Congratulations, they call me the boss. I'm also surfer, surfer beloved by the Mantine in the sea itself, but not as much as you. I've got the perfect Pokemon for you. I'll give you a Pikachu that knows surf. That's why I've been doing it. That's why I've been getting the top score at all the surf spots. Here's my dilemma. What to nickname it? <laughs> all right, I'm naming it Bodhi as a reference to the Point Break movie. You know, he's a surfer. Speed lowering is not ideal, but it does have a gold bottle cap, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so here's my dilemma. Alolan Raichu is a stronger Pokemon than Togedemaru. It has a substantially higher base stat total, so it is the better Pokemon. However, Togedemaru 
is still useful because of its sturdy ability. A while ago I was saying, oh, sturdy, that's not as good as the other ones, but I realized sturdy can actually really come in handy against Ultra Necrozma because it guarantees like a single hit because sturdy will s make it live from one of Ultra Necrozma's attacks. So I think for now, oh, but the psychic type could come in handy against the totem combo. Oh. And also the steel is gonna come in handy against the fairy trial. This is hard to decide. I think it makes sense to keep Togedemaru around for now and maybe swap it after the Ultra Necrozma battle. I think that's what makes sense. So I think what I'm gonna do now is try to get the rest of the totem stickers to get the final totem Pokemon basically just as soon as possible. Because if it's the last one, I feel like it's probably gonna be a pretty freaking good Pokemon that I'm gonna wanna toss on the team. Well, I just realized something terrible, something deeply, deeply terrible. I have up the list of the totem sticker locations, and I thought I could finish and get all 100 of them before fighting the league, but no. There is one at Pony Gauntlet, which I have highlighted on the map which is where the battle tree is, which means I cannot get it on my team before the league. So in short, my day is ruined, and it would have been a combo o It would have been combo o Oh man, that would have been so helpful. Everything is garbage. So now I don't, want, I don't know what the heck to do with my team. I was thinking Alolan Raichu is better than Togedemaru, but Togedemaru is better against freaking Ultra Necrozma, and I'm just like, uh... Oh, and the Eevee, I still don't know what to do with the Eevee.